Yo, what is up guys? It is Bumfries, and yeah, you're not hearing things. After a long, long 12 months, you are finally hearing my voice again. Now, this is a video that I've wanted to make for a really long time, but I feel like I've let you guys down so much with a lack of videos over the last 12 months that I just didn't know how to go about it. I really don't expect many people to be watching this video, but for those of you that have stuck around, and for those of you that are listening today, I just want to say thank you. And I genuinely mean that. Thank you so much for sticking with me, even though I probably don't deserve it. But I think most of all, I just want to thank the people that have left me comments asking where I am and if I'm okay, how I'm going in life, because as silly as it may seem, it's really nice to know that there are people out there that care, even if they're people on the internet. Each and every single person that used to tune in and watch my videos is a human being. And the fact that even one person cares enough to message me or leave a comment on my videos to ask if I'm okay is crazy. And I'm really glad to be able to say that even if it was only for 12 or 18 months that I really made videos full time, I'm really happy to be able to say that I made some genuine connections with people. And I can't believe the uncanny timing of this, but this video was actually supposed to release a couple of days ago. About 20 minutes before the video was supposed to go live, my channel got hacked, the entirety of my channel content got deleted, the name got changed, my Google account was compromised, you name it. So this is future Bumfries and I'll continue the video in a second, but on top of what I was saying before, the amount of people that messaged me, left comments on my videos saying, hey, your channel's been hacked, was quite unreal to see, to be honest with you. And even though it still took a couple of days to get it back, I'm really glad I have, because even though I don't make videos as frequently as I used to, this is such a big part of who I am. And I was honestly so devastated when it happened because I love this channel, I love the people on it, and I love making videos. If I lost every single one of the videos that I had made permanently, I honestly could not express how disappointed I would have been. Anyway, let's move past that and address the big question everyone's asking. It's where am I and what have I been doing? Firstly, I am okay. Nothing drastic has happened in my life. I've honestly just been busy with work, relationships, and life in general. Around the middle of last year, I purchased a house and that took up a lot more time than you can imagine, doing renovations, trying to get the house up to scratch, things like that. I also started a new job earlier on in the year and that's something that I'll touch on a little bit because this has probably been the biggest contributing factor when it comes to me not making videos. And the reason being is something that I want to talk about a bit because when you see YouTubers, you don't see the negative sides of things. All you see is the content that they want to push out and what they want you to see. They never show you, or should I say very rarely, will show you the behind the scenes where there's all of the planning that goes into every single video, all of the time that goes into making every single video, just the mental exhaustion that takes place when you're potentially spending six to eight hours a day working on a video on top of trying to manage a full-time job that you might be traveling 30 minutes to an hour to either way, maintaining relationships with family members, girlfriends, friends and that type of thing. It just takes so much out of you. And I don't want to sound ungrateful because honestly, I am extremely grateful for the opportunities that I was given when it comes to YouTube and the following that I was able to develop. But unfortunately, with the direction that my life was going and starting a new career, I had to make a choice at some point whether I was going to go down the YouTube path full time or whether I was going to start a new career that I could hopefully do for the next 20 or 30 years. And I suppose one of the biggest things I considered when making that decision was where was I going to be the happiest? And unfortunately for me and my personal circumstances, and I know there's a lot of people that will disagree with this, being out in the real world and doing a job where I was a bit more hands-on, engaging with people every single day is what was going to make me happier. I know there's a lot of people out there that would love to do this job for a living. And don't get me wrong, when I was about 13 or 14 years old, I had countless amounts of YouTube channels where I was trying to make this my full-time job. Doing reviews of things like like football and different sports, gaming commentaries, voiceovers, you name it. Anything that I could think that would get me into this YouTube space so that I could make it a full-time job. And when I finally hit that crunch point where I potentially could have made that happen, I realized after all that time and all that effort of trying to make something of myself that it just wasn't for me. And that's not to say that I don't enjoy making videos because I do and I always have enjoyed making videos. I think the biggest problem for me was the stress of feeling like I had to put out a video every single day because if I wasn't, I was letting people down. From the 1st of January 2019, I think I probably went six months making a video every single day, seven days a week without any kind of break, just so that I felt like I wasn't letting people down. And it's gonna sound crazy, but in that six month period, I was probably unwell with like a head cold, maybe six, seven times. And as silly as it seems, it just took such a physical toll on my body that I decided that I needed a change. I think it probably hit a breaking point where sometime in the middle of that year, I actually went on a week trip to Hawaii with my family and I was so afraid of letting people down and not making videos for that week 
that the week leading up to that, on top of everything else that I was doing and the daily videos that I was still making, I made seven videos pre-uploaded so that I could release them every single day just so that people had continuous content coming out. And I guess reflecting on that now and having had another three or four years to mature, I think about how decisions like that probably played a big part in me being unable to continue to make videos on a reasonably consistent basis. In hindsight, people probably would have enjoyed, you know, two or three videos a week. And realistically, that's something that I could have managed. Had I made the decision to do that a lot earlier on, perhaps things could have been very different and I could have actually pushed content out a bit more consistently. But unfortunately, I burnt myself out so much to the point that I just went cold turkey and decided I would make videos when I felt like it. And I think anyone who's had some degree of success on YouTube knows that consistency is key to having a regular viewership. So as that consistency began to diminish, naturally my audience did the same thing. And that's my own fault, so I've got no one to blame but myself. But at the same time, when you're used to getting a reasonable amount of views and comments and engaging with people on a regular basis and your Discord channels popping off, and then you see a significant decrease in that, even though it was my own fault and was something that I had full control over, in your head, it's still demoralizing knowing that you could be achieving more. You know, everyone wants to be successful and anyone on YouTube who tells you otherwise is a liar. Like I said, I started making these videos because I wanted to entertain people and that was always my goal. From the day I began making YouTube videos, it was about entertainment first and whatever come from that was secondary. But the reality is no one wants to spend hours upon hours upon hours making a video that nobody watches. And again, I just want to reiterate the fact that I don't want to seem ungrateful because the degree of success that I had on YouTube is 1000% down to the people watching my videos. If I didn't have them, my channel would have been nothing. I still would have put out the content as I did for years prior, but I think the motivation to do it on such a consistent basis was all of the positive feedback that I was getting. Yeah, there was always people who would try and put a damper on things. That happens to everybody. But the amount of legitimate friendships that I made from this YouTube channel is unbelievable. Having said that though, I would be lying if I told you that I didn't think this Reddit thing was something that was going to have some degree of success. At the time of me beginning to make this content, I was on Reddit all the time. I started seeing those robotic reading channels pop up on YouTube and I thought, I can do this, but I can do it with my actual voice. It was a very niche thing at the time, and from what I can tell, there's very few people who have continued to do it on a consistent basis. There was maybe a handful of us that started making these types of videos around the same time, around that January 2019, maybe a little bit earlier than that. But aside from r slash and a couple of other ones who I believe are still making videos, I think the actual Reddit reading community, if you can call it that, has dropped off significantly. Despite this, these robot voices have well and truly outlasted me and a lot of other people. And if you look at TikTok and Facebook, Facebook Reels and YouTube Shorts, Instagram Reels, etc, etc. Those Reddit reading videos are getting unbelievable amount of views and an unbelievable amount of comments. And I don't know what the revenue streams on those platforms are like, and I, I don't think on YouTube there is even a revenue option for YouTube Shorts. But if there is some kind of revenue stream for these people that are making what I feel is pretty low effort content, they must be living pretty well. I mean, let's face it, if you want to do something that's going to get you quick and easy views, it's probably one of the easiest things you can do. Again, I'd be lying if I said I hadn't considered doing something like that. It's so easy to do. You can make a two minute video with a robot voice in all of five minutes. Anyway, that aside, I don't want to ramble on and reminisce about what could have been because the reality is I haven't uploaded a video for over 12 months. So any lack of views or lack of engagement solely comes down to my laziness. That being said though, I still have that passion for making these videos. I always have and I probably always will to be completely honest. So whether it's Reddit videos or something that I just find more engaging, if you guys do want to continue to see videos, please let me know because I will absolutely do it. I don't know what it's going to be. It'll probably be Reddit videos because that's something that I've just become accustomed to and I think I'm pretty good at it, but that doesn't mean at some point I won't want to try different things. There's so much good content out there on YouTube and quite frankly, I understand if I'm not at the top of your list to want to watch and I'm not the kind of person that's going to say, hey, what kind of content do you want to see? Because as far as I'm concerned, that is one of the least engaging and least successful ways to have a YouTube channel because you need to find what you're good at, find your niche, and then the audience will come to you, not the other way around. If you're trying to pander to every individual person on YouTube, you are not going to have success. The amount of times when I was younger that I asked, hey, what kind of content do you guys want to see? Hey, do you guys like this? Do you guys like that? It doesn't matter. If you find something that you are good at and something that you enjoy and something that is a proper niche, the right people will come and watch your video. That is the way it has been and is honestly, I believe the way it will always be on YouTube. Anyway, I'm starting to ramble on. That is super irrelevant to what we were talking about. But the gist of it is I'm here, I'm alive. I still want to make videos. And most importantly, 
I appreciate you guys. Also, before I forget, my new job is going well. I think overall I made the right decision and I think I am a lot happier than I probably would have been being stuck inside every single day in front of a computer making YouTube videos. And I know there's more to it than that, but I'm in a career that I'm really happy with and I couldn't be more grateful for the opportunities that I've been given in life, I suppose. Like I said at the start of the video, I don't expect many people to watch this and that's fine, but it blows my mind to think that there are people that care about me enough to watch videos nearly four years after I started making videos and have just done such a consistent basis let them down with an inconsistency of uploads. But what can I say? I have one of the most amazing fan bases that I have come across on any YouTube channel. From YouTube analytics, I have a bit of an older audience, so they're a little bit more mature and I think a lot more understanding of the ups and downs of life. So the fact that people have stuck with me through my ups and downs, it means more than I can probably express in words. But I want to finish up again by just saying thank you. I hope this brings a little bit of clarity to all the people that were wondering where I was and what I was doing. And maybe just a bit of understanding as to why I stopped making videos for such a long period of time. But that's going to wrap things up for me today. I hope you are all having an absolutely fantastic day. And honestly, I do hope to see you very soon for another video. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you guys later. Bye.